Beautiful piece right there. Thank you very much. Now, in other business news, smallholder farmers are urged to mobilize internal finances in their groups before running for loans from the financial institutions. It has been found that farmers have failed to pay back loans due to acquiring startup investment capital from banks without enough experience. This is based on a Sasakawa Global 2000 project evaluation exercise. <laughs> The seasonal uncertainties have tested the farmers, the rough of loan repayment, owing to the failure to meet loan financing. This mostly affects farmers accessing loans to invest in the agribusiness venture. They must be saving internally. Why do we insist on that? That financing can be achieved internally and externally. But for the beginning, you need with internal saving. The project coordinator post handling in Sasakawa Global 2000, James Murangela, encouraged farmers to adopt modern farming technologies. He was speaking at the evaluation of five years project in different districts of operations. We call cost benefit analysis. Sugar growing vis a vis other crops. You'll find that farmers who engage in sugar growing, they are, first of all, they are earning less income, even not, not even a third of what the soya people are earning. Number two, you can't eat, you can't eat sugar cane. So one of the reasons for intervening in these sugar growing areas, the number one, was uh, uh, to promote food security within the area because you have issues of food insecurity. What the farmer needs to do at harvesting to remove the, the seed from the, the, the crop, that's what we call primary processing. Lack of information is one of the main hindrances of agribusiness among small-scale farmers. Especially, of course, I see the weather department is trying, but if they could at least make it more frequent, share this information on weather more frequent, and then also the prices of uh, produce at the end of the season, they should communicate them more frequently, such that a farmer, as he, a farmer is negotiating, he or she has at least a benchmark at which that if a, a middleman is saying that I'll give you your maize at 400, but because the farmer has this information that maize at the least it will go for maybe 700 or 600. The project has equipped farmers with different modern agricultural skills and exposed them to profitable crops. We apply 50 kilograms of fertilizer. Pre- and post-handling skills have improved the level of value addition to boost household income. Time we used to beat with the sticks oh. and the maize scattered. And the farmer, we are making loss. And the, so this, uh, this time we use those machines and the farmers are very happy. I sell that image on uh, like one thousand. That is five million. Um, when I add uh, the, the million of uh, my initiator, that is six million passes. Sasaka officials have visited all the 21 districts where this project is in operation and in the period of five years, farmers' pre- and post-production technologies is expected to improve. Abdul Nasser Lubwama for UBC News.